everybody what is going on this is Joshua Williams now today we are going to be talking about a film that will be coming out in 2018 in February and it is based off of one of my most favorite child stories of all time Peter Rabbit now when I first found out that this was going to be turned into a feature film you can imagine I got very excited now for those of you who don't know I am a big big fan of Peter Rabbit I always read the stories, I always got the book or anything related to Peter Rabbit every single year for Easter when I was a kid. Hell, I would watch the Nick Jr. series that they had on Nickelodeon for a while. So of course, naturally, when I hear that they're going to make a film about it, I got even more excited because just the possibilities, okay? Like, first of all, this is a story of a rabbit that is pretty mischievous and disobedient to his mother. He was supposed to pick berries with his sisters, Flopsy and Mopsy and Cottontail, but instead he goes into Mr. McGregor's garden, pretty much raids the place, loses his jacket, tries to get it, and he gets trapped, and then blah blah blah. You guys all get the story. Everybody knows the story. This is a timeless classic. So just the thought that they were going to bring that story to the big screen got me even more excited. So I was thinking that it was probably going to be a mashup maybe of the first two or three books and that got me even more excited because now we were going to see the world of Beatrix Potter on the big screen and I don't think we've seen this on the big screen before. So when I first found out about this film this was probably about uh, I'd say maybe 2016 probably late 2015 honestly and then later on we find out some more details that it was going to be produced by Sony Animation Studios and James Corden was going to be the, the voice actor of Peter Rabbit and and that the cast members were all going to be from the UK which makes sense because for a movie of course you want to try to make it feel as authentic as possible now with James Corden being Peter Rabbit that was kind of weird to me at first because I was thinking they were going to portray Peter Rabbit as you know a kid like, we usually see him as, you know, a, a kid character. Now, in the later books of the series, yeah, he does end up getting older, but still, we usually see him betrayed as a child. However, when I saw their first teaser, which for some reason, I can't find that video anymore, they took it down, and I could not find that one anywhere. But, that did give us kind of a little bit of an insight of what the film was going to be about, or what it was going to be like, in terms of visually, in terms of what the animation was going to be like, and also gave us a preview of what James Corden was going to sound like as Peter Rabbit. And honestly, when I first heard him, I thought he sounded pretty well. I honestly, I didn't think it was going to fit, but it did sound fitting. It did seem like, okay, you know what? maybe this isn't going to be bad. So when I first saw that little video, that got me even more excited for the film because I just loved how it looked and I loved the mood of it. It was just great. And then they ended up coming out with another video, uh, more of a teaser this time, of the movie around September 21st. And so I thought that that was basically the same video, but I ended up clicking on it and saw that it was actually a much fuller trailer in, in this time. It was longer and it actually showed us a whole lot more. So I ended up watching it and it was basically kind of the same thing in the beginning. In the first video, it was Peter Rabbit running towards Mr. McGregor's garden, trying to get his blue jacket back and he did. And so then this time it was Peter Rabbit with his jacket on running towards Mr. McGregor's garden, but you generally saw him through the field. At first it looked very calm and you could tell the mood of the story and the mood of the film based off of what you just saw there. And you heard the narrator with his whimsical type story voice and stuff. And so then you go ahead and see Peter Rabbit and he crashes into three singing birds. And then you see that the mood that we thought we were going to get for this film was not going to be the mood that we're going to get with this film. Nope, it's going to be completely different from what most of us were expecting. So we go further into the trailer and you see all the animals are actually in the garden of Mr. McGregor and they're raiding it. Now, that usually doesn't happen. Peter Rabbit and Benjamin Bunny sometimes are the only ones that would generally go into the garden because everyone else fears Mr. McGregor because Mr. McGregor, if they catch them, they're going to be turned into a pie. I mean, Peter Rabbit's dad died that way. He was turned into a pie by Mrs. McGregor. So every animal knows the dangers of going into Mr. McGregor's garden, but 
They're all in there, having a big party. I mean, you have Mr. Todd there for some reason. I mean, I'm surprised that Peter isn't even afraid of Mr. Todd being there, but he's just happy to see him, apparently. And then you have Peter Rabbit just, like, making it rain cabbage leaves on top of some stands, which is kind of weird, but, uh, okay. And then all of a sudden, you see the animals inside the house of Mr. McGregor. First of all, shouldn't it be more of a cottage? I'm not saying that a big house can't be on a farm. I mean, I'm sure there's some big houses out there that are on farms, of course. But in the original story, wait a minute, I, I can't really be going back to the book. I mean, clearly when we see just what I've seen so far, it's not going to go after the books. I mean, clearly. But yes, we see every single animal just partying in the house, and they're basically wrecking the place. I mean, yeah, you know what? That makes sense. Go ahead and wreck the house of the guy that could possibly turn you into a pie. Oh, and look at that. There's Mr. Todd with the tie around his head. The total party animal, because why the heck not? Oh, but it gets even better. So Mr. McGregor is actually coming back home in a taxi cab. Okay, so I guess now Peter Rabbit is told in the times of today, I guess. It doesn't even matter. Mr. McGregor is coming home, and now all the animals are afraid, and they hide inside of his house. And then the door is open to reveal... Uh... Who, who is this? Um, I, are, are we sure that we got the right guy? I mean... I mean, clearly, this this can this can't be Mr. McGregor. Th this isn't Mr. McGregor. We all know who Mr. McGregor is. He's an old guy with a white beard, and he doesn't like animals. This is a guy that looks like he is a teacher, for Christ's sake. He looks young. This this can't be Mr. McGregor. This this is probably someone that is on the wrong movie set. I I I think that's what. It no. No, 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 you're, you're, you're telling me that is actually Mr. McGregor. Now, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people who were fans of the original story, Peter Rabbit, were probably really not happy about this. In fact, when I first saw this, I was extremely confused. I mean... This is the guy that you got playing Mr. McGregor? Don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not trying to bag on this guy. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's a really great actor. I mean, I don't know. I've never seen him in anything, okay? But you cast him as Mr. McGregor? What reason did you guys make Mr. McGregor younger? I, I mean, it, it, it's a little odd. I don't, I don't know what kind of vibe he gives off. He kind of gives off somebody who is a school teacher or something. And I, I, I don't know. And, and especially when you go ahead and have that little gag where the pig ends up going face to face with him and he screams kind of like a girl or has a high pitched scream and you know you're doing that screaming gag like they do in almost every other kid films. And you see how terrified Mr. McGregor looks. Mr. McGregor wouldn't be that scared. He would be infuriated and try to capture some of these animals to put them in a pie. That's what Mr. McGregor does. Not scream and just be freaked out when he sees all these animals in his house. That's a little weird. In fact, you know what? I actually gotta look up something. Okay, I, I can't really just believe that they made him younger for absolutely no reason. Okay, there, there, there just has to be a particular reason as to why Mr. McGregor is younger. I'm not sure if there's really that much of a story that has been released about this film, but there has to be something, okay? And I'm going to find that right now. You're kidding. You... Out of all the stories that you guys decided to go with, this is the one that you chose. This is what the story of Peter Rabbit, the movie, is going to be about. Did you think that it was going to be about Peter Rabbit disobeying his mother and going into Mr. McGregor's garden to raid it and getting locked in there? Did you think it was going to be based off of the original story? Nope. That's not what I'm even mad about. I mean, sure, you can go ahead and create a new adventure for Peter Rabbit, and that would have been completely fine. But this is what they decided to have the storyline be for Peter Rabbit in, in this movie. <clears throat> Peter Rabbit and Mr. McGregor's feud between each other rises to greater heights 
when they rival over the affections of an animal lover that lives next door. You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Rabbit and Mr. McGregor are going to be rivaling for the affections of a girl. This is the story that Sony Pictures or whoever wrote this one decided to go with. But the original fans of Peter Rabbit, if they had found out about this, I'm sure so many people would have been very pissed off. I'm not even sure if a lot of people even know what the story is for this movie. But this is the story that they ended up coming with. Again, you could have created a new adventure. Maybe Peter Rabbit goes back to the garden for whatever reason, and he actually gets caught by Mr. McGregor, and he has to try to get out of his house. Or maybe he gets chased by Mr. Todd or something. I don't know how, but my editor, Alexander, he actually kind of predicted that this had to be something about a girl. Maybe it was because of the fact that this was an animated slash live action movie, which honestly, it, it just seems like they all just follow the same formula. I can practically kind of predict a little bit of what this film's gonna be like. This isn't going to be a lot about Peter Rabbit. No, this is going to be probably a romantic comedy between Mr. McGregor and what other, and that animal lover chick, and it's going to just happen to have Peter Rabbit in it. So yeah, honestly, after watching this entire teaser, I literally lost all excitement for this film. Sony, you done it again. I have absolutely no idea how you could have taken such a timeless classic like Peter Rabbit, or just a, a character like Peter Rabbit, and decide to dumb down a story like this, and that's the kind of film that you're giving out to everyone. That is honestly in some ways a big middle finger to big, huge Peter Rabbit fans, dude. Like, this is ridiculous. Now again, as I said, this is an adaptation, of course there's going to be changes to certain stories, and of course there's going to be a different story, which is not something that I'm upset about. Again, they could have made a completely new adventure, but still try to stay true to the original vision of Beatrix Potter. But with what you've given us, this is not what it looks like. All I can say is, I'm pretty disappointed, okay? I'm still going to follow this film, so when they happen to release more about it, I can at least see what else we're going to expect from this movie, and I'm probably still going to end up watching it when it comes out to the theaters, because again, I am someone who cannot fully judge a film without seeing it, and I am not going to be that person who is going to fully judge a film without seeing it. I'm not going to brand this movie, Peter Rabbit, as a crappy film. I'm not going to do that because I haven't seen it, it hasn't come out yet, and I have to at the very least give it a chance. For me being a critic of certain movies, that is the least that I can do is to give it a chance. All I can say is my expectations, which were high, have definitely been lowered a lot. Hopefully, the new trailers can maybe possibly raise them up again i don't know but it doesn't seem like it's going to but we'll see we'll definitely see and i might happen to do another reaction video to another one of their trailers not 100 percent sure we will see so that's it guys my thoughts on this teaser what did you guys think do you think it's going to be good or a pile of disappointment let me know in the comment section down below and as always click the like button and subscribe button to help me out as i always appreciate every single one as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time Thank you.